Hey guys, now we're back in the backyard. That way I can lay the head onto the block. But real quick, this is a unpaid coffee break brought to you by Shippy Donuts, the best donuts in town. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna lay first the head gasket. Get this sucker cut up. Birds are loud. This is an OEM AC Doco General Motors head gasket we'll be laying on. And it should sit very nice and fine. After that, I'll just go ahead and lay the head on top. they fall nicely on the guides okay guys before you go on putting on the the nuts on the ARP studs you got to put on these fastener washers and then you're gonna go ahead and put on this ARP fastener lube oops sorry this ARP fastener lube and at the end of the day you'll put on these nuts these ARP nuts should fasten down the head and uh, just torque them down after that so just start placing the nuts, I mean the washers, on the studs. There's one more, all these guys are hiding back here. Wait a minute, I'm missing one. Never mind guys, I found it, it's right here. This little guy goes hiding there. So that's all the washers that go on the head. Kind of start laying on the fastener nuts and twerking them down. Man, this shipping alone is so good, a damn fly keeps on bothering my coffee. It doesn't let me drink it right. You know what the washers are in place as well as assembly lube. I'm going to start putting all the nuts into place. Now I did find that the nuts will be easier or easy installing using a 14 millimeter um, socket. So a 14 millimeter socket will work. Right, they're all fastened down and I'll just start torquing them down. So when it comes to torquing down the certain the head you have to set on your torque wrench you have to set it to 22 pounds feet of torque plus 155 degrees on the final pass. So first pass again 22 pound feet of torque second pass 155 degrees and the bolts will be torqued down. Now when you're torquing down the head they do have a sequence as to you just can't torque whichever one you want to torque uh, first or however the case but when you're talking them down they do have a sequence and I'll show you the sequence right now as well so whenever it comes to a sequence you have to torque down uh, the bolts that's mentioned which would be the center one would be first on the exhaust side the second one will be on the center from the intake side then you're gonna hop on to three then four then five then six, 
then seven, then eight, then nine, and then at the very end, 10 for this one. So you're gonna be going up and down and then from side to side, torquing them down. Okay, I've set the camera to what I think would be the best way to show you the torque sequence for the head. Uh, but here's a correction, guys. Um, to torque them down, they are P nuts. It'd be best to use a uh, 12 point half inch um, socket. That way you won't get any slippage. So we're gonna start with bolt number one on the exhaust side. Torque it to 22 foot pounds of torque. Then number two is the center one on the intake side to 22 pound feet of torque. Number three jumps to the exhaust on the left side of the block to 22 pound feet of torque as well. Number four, intake side on the right side of the block. Number five goes to exhaust side on the right side of the block. Number six, intake side on the left side of the block. Number seven, exhaust side on the left side of the block. Number eight, intake side on the very far right of the block. Number nine, exhaust side on the far right of the block. And number 10, intake side on the far left of the block. So that's the pattern of the torque sequence. And that's 22 pound field torque on each one. That's the first pass. So the second pass has to be the same sequence going 155 degrees. I don't have a, I guess a degree measure. So I'm gonna have to make this one up. First it'll be 90 and I think that's 155. Then second it'll be 90 and I think that's that's 155. So then I'm gonna jump to a third one. which is 90 and I think 55 and then the fourth one 90 and I think 155 and then the fifth one 90 and I think 155. And the sixth one. Ninety. And I think 155. Then the seventh one. I should have started from over here. I already went like 55 degrees. I think we got more like a hundred right there. Then the eighth one, 90. And I think 55. Then the ninth one, 90. I think 55 and the last one should be a tenth will be at 90 and I think 155 and so that's all all of them have been torqued down to the sequence that is needed now don't forget about the torques uh, bolts 
that go on the timing side of the head because those also have to get fastened down to 22 pound feet of torque and there's a total of four of them. What I'm using to fasten them down is a Torx type uh, E12 socket. So pretty much it will look like that and uh, this is the number of it, E12. And that's what I'm going to use to torque them down to 22 pound feet of torque. All right, and that should do it. Okay guys, so I, I am running out of daylight and I gotta get this video together so I can show y'all before I do the timing because I'm pretty much set up for the timing. So this is again how the block looks and the head assembled together. So this would be the head on the block already. It's all pretty much assembled. Only thing needing to do is add the cam, uh, the cam gears with the facers. And on the inside, you're going to have to set up all the timing.